But anyway, I'm told that there's a presidential election right around the corner and that everyone's talking about it. I, I know. And, uh, and anyway, it's something that if you're a responsible show, you have to cover these things. You just do. So a few nights ago, we showed a report from our friend Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. And that's right. Triumph went to the third presidential debate in uh, Tampa, Arizona, and he visited the area known as Spin Alley to sort of uh, hassle the political spin doctors and give them a hard time. We showed that the other night. Let's take a quick look back. It's fair to say, I think, one of the great Democratic spinners, Joe Lockhart. Very good. I like that. Can you spin a woman into thinking you don't look gross in the shower? about the stance on gay marriage. The, uh, the, the, the point is... <laughs> the dog has, the dog has take the questions from dogs. No, I don't take questions from dogs. Oh, oh you'll take it, bitch. I think he's... No one gets to the heart of the matter like Trian. Such an insightful political mind. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, after that event, uh, Triumph visited with a group of undecided voters. Because after all, the undecided voters are the ones who will decide this election. They're very important. Uh, he visited with them. He talked to them. Here's what happened. All right. We've heard from the spin doctors. Now let's hear what people who have a soul thought. Here in Tempe, we've assembled 14 undecided voters in this depressing hotel bar. A representative group ranging from your average Joe six-pack to your average Joe 12 pack. You look like you're for Bush. You're not, you're still undecided? I'm still undecided. Come on, you're so Republican looking. Look at you. You're stiffer than Richard Simmons unwrapping the Troy DVD. You watch the debate? Yeah, you I just watch Carrie's no, uh, nose grow. Carrie's nose grew? Yeah. Oh, he's like, like Pinocchio. Carrie <laughs> thinks it's like Pinocchio because Pinocchio. Lies too much. Yeah, so you're not undecided. You hate Carrie more than you hate changing your underwear. <laughs> Trusty bartender, what, what issue did you want to hear about tonight other than lowering the age of consent? <laughs> I like your beard. It's not there, the pecs. No, no, no. I knew a, I knew a Pekingese who shaved hers like that. <laughs> Very sexy. You got my vote. Did you used to be a hippie? Long time ago. You used to protest? Okay, well, good for you. <laughs> Give soap a chance. <laughs> Look at this psycho. I banged her. <laughs> they arrested me for bestiality. Was there any point in the debate tonight that uh, really stuck out in your minds? Foo Fighters, I mean, that was good. Yes, there was a Foo Fighters concert here before the debate. Yeah. Great. That was a highlight. Was this any particular song help you decide between Bush and Kerry? <laughs> the song where they fly. The fly in the video, I can't oh, remember. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> For God's sake, just whatever you do, You've got to take this process more seriously. It you is know? a process. Set an example for the kids here. Oh, you know? I mean, our fathers fought for years for this right, you yes. know? To, to not take your vote seriously, that would be like spending 20 years building the Neverland Ranch and then not molesting a single child. <laughs> exactly. Right. He's doing God's work out there. Triumph the insult time. I will take a break. When we come back. Sarah Michelle Gellar is here. Stick around.